is poor, he is blind, he will be a paradigm, one of Jesus' greatest finds there beside the road. Calling I'm fascinated by this man. I know theologically he's the son of God. I know all those theological assertions, but you know what? He's just an interesting person. I find him endlessly fascinating. I mean, I, I'd love him. I want to know what amazes him. I'd kind of like to try to amaze him sometime. You know what amazes him? Faith or the lack thereof. <laughs> having faith or not having faith. You know what amazes him? Is when you ask, when you ask him for what you don't deserve. To boldly ask for what you don't deserve. Jesus is very interested in the imagination. When he, when he redefines sin, he redefines sin in terms of the imagination. What's murder? Is murder when I stab you? No. Jesus says murder is when I'm angry with you. Where does that happen? Imagination. Falling down upon his knees with one request he wants to see. And he could see immediately when Jesus said go. We were just blown away by this weekend. It is just a life-changing experience. You're able to see Jesus in a different light. Walking through how the scriptures themselves capture the idea of imagination. I, I will make every effort to try and get to another conference. Some of you guys know way more facts about the Bible than I do. But what I want you to do is learn to stop and say, what does that mean? 